Welcome back everyone to the deep dive. This time we're going on a journey to discover the world of Maria Ingold. Ooh, this one should be interesting. I've heard the name before, especially in media, tech, and AI circles. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? We're actually using her LinkedIn profile as our main source today. Uh, you can learn a lot from a LinkedIn profile these days, can't you? You really can. And Maria's is packed with info. It tells us that she's currently an AI strategy and innovation CTO, a speaker, a and D pursuing a master's degree in AI. Wow, all at the same time. She must be incredibly busy. That's impressive. A real go-getter. Right. I mean, AI strategy and innovation CTO, that title alone just screams cutting edge. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. And it speaks to the convergence of technology and creativity that we see happening more and more these days. Absolutely. Plus, she's got over 30 years of experience in media tech. 30 years? That's practically a lifetime in this fast-paced industry. She must have seen some incredible changes. Oh, I'm sure. And two decades of that were as a CTO. Talk about a wealth of experience. You don't reach that level without knowing your stuff, that's for sure. She must be a sought-after expert. No kidding. But here's the twist. Marie is also a member of BAFTA. You know, the British Academy of Film and Television Arts. Hmm. That's interesting. Not something you'd immediately expect such a strong tech background. Right. It's like she's got one foot firmly planted in the world of tech and the other in the entertainment industry. It shows you never know the full story with someone. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's got a hidden passion for film and TV. Maybe. Oh, and get this. She's actually been an extra in 30 films and TV shows. Can you believe that? Really? Wow. That's pretty cool. You'd never guess that from her LinkedIn. What a fascinating tidbit. It's true. Makes you wonder what set she's been on and who she's met. Right. OK, so we've got this multi-talented experienced individual. Now let's see what she's up to on LinkedIn itself. Yeah, because she's not just passively networking. She's actively participating in discussions and sharing her insights. A real thought leader. I like that. Not just collecting connections, but actually contributing to the conversation. What kind of things does she talk about? Well, I found one of her responses particularly insightful. Someone asked, how can you change your team's mind about adopting AI technologies? Ooh. That's a good one. It's a question a lot of people are grappling with, especially with all the hype and fears around AI. Exactly. And instead of focusing on AI replacing jobs, Maria emphasized the concept of augmentation. Augmentation. So using AI to empower human capabilities, not just automate them away. Precisely. It's about how humans and AI can work together rather than one replacing the other. I like that approach. It's a much more positive and realistic way to look at the potential of AI. Does she give any specific examples of this in action? I'm sure she does in her articles. But before we get to those, there's another important point she makes, which is the ethical considerations of AI. Ah, uh, yes, that's crucial. It's not just about what we can do with this technology, but what we should do. Exactly. And she seems very aware of that responsibility. Speaking of her articles, some of the titles really grab my attention. Oh, yeah, she's written quite a few, hasn't she? What were some of the ones that caught your eye? Well, there's one called AI's Billions for Media, Job Jeopardies, or Revenue Rewards. That's a thought-provoking title for sure. It gets right to the heart of the concerns and opportunities that AI presents for the media industry. Doesn't it? And then there's Eulogy for Dadlet, Rocket Scientist, and so much more. Now that one sounds more personal. Mm. I wonder what that's about. It definitely sparks your curiosity. It's interesting how she seems to weave her personal experiences into her professional work. It does make her more relatable, doesn't it? Like you get a glimpse into the person behind all the impressive achievements. Absolutely. Okay, so before we dive into those articles, let's take a step back and look at her background. What can you tell us about her education? Well, she has a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science with honors from the University of New Mexico. Solid foundation right there. No surprise she's so successful in tech. And she also pursued a Master of Fine Arts in Computer Graphics, although she didn't complete it. Ah, but notice the artistic side starting to emerge. Right. It's like those two sides, tech and creativity, were already present early on. Makes sense, considering her BAFTA membership and her work as an extra. Yeah. But where does the UK connection come in? Well, get this. During her undergrad, she did an exchange program at the University of Essex in the UK. And guess where she is now? Back in the UK. Don't tell me. At the University of Essex, pursuing her MSc in AI. It's like coming full circle. Wow. What are the chances? That's amazing. And on top of all that, she's got a bunch of certifications too. AWS Cloud Practitioner, Programmatic Advertising. She's definitely a lifelong learner, that's for sure. You can tell. But it's not just about tech skills, is it? She's also involved with the Flickinger Center for Performing Arts as an advisory board member. Right. 
It shows you her interests extend beyond the purely technical. She's got a passion for the arts and giving back to her community. It's refreshing to see, isn't it? Yeah. Someone who's not just focused on their own career, but also wants to make a difference in the world. Absolutely. Now, what about the awards and recognitions? It looks like she's racked up quite a few. Oh, yeah. Her list of accomplishments is pretty impressive. Starting with the Distinguished Alumni Award from the UNM School of Engineering. That's a big one, right? It's not given out lightly. Definitely not. It recognizes graduates who have made significant contributions to their fields. And then there's her recognition in the media world. She was featured in Streaming Media Magazine's list of the top 101 European companies in online video. Wow, that's a tough list to make. It is, and it shows her work is being recognized at the highest levels of the industry. What other recognitions has she received? I'm curious to hear more. Well, she's been featured in Tech City Insider's Top 100 People, Refining Digital Business in London and Beyond, and also in VOD Professionals' Top 50 Most Influential People in UK New Television. She's basically a rock star in the world of media tech. Pretty much. But what really stood out to me were the recommendations on her profile. Oh, yeah. Those personal anecdotes are always so insightful. It's one thing to see a list of accomplishments, but it's another to hear what people actually say about working with her. Absolutely. And one recommendation specifically highlighted Maria's ability to, well, pivot a global team towards domain expertise. And that's no small feat, especially in a large organization. It shows her leadership skills and ability to bring people together around a shared vision. What else did you pick up from those recommendations? Someone else talked about how she combines this deep technical expertise with a practical understanding of the audiovisual industry. Right. That probably comes from her diverse experience, including her time working in film and television. It's like she can bridge the gap between the technical side and the creative side, which is so valuable in today's media landscape. Couldn't agree more. Hmm. Interesting. What is it? What caught your eye? Yeah. I just noticed that she's proficient in Spanish and Japanese. Oh, wow. I didn't catch that. That's incredible. It is. Talk about valuable skills in a global industry like media tech. Absolutely. Being able to communicate with people from different cultures is such an asset. It really opens up a whole world of possibilities, doesn't it? It does. Okay, so let's move on to her involvement in various organizations. Her LinkedIn lists quite a few, which gives us more insight into her interests and activities. Let's see, what do we have here? Ah, she's a member of Tech London Advocates. That makes sense, considering she's based in London. Right. And it shows she's not just working in the tech industry, but actively advocating for its growth and development. Exactly. And of course, we can't forget about her BAFTA membership. Ah, yes. A long-standing member in the film, television, and interactive awards category, to be precise. Right. Which highlights her deep connection to the entertainment world. It's not just a casual interest, is it? It's a significant part of her professional identity. It seems so. Now, what about these other organizations, Immerse UK and VR Aid? Those are interesting. Immerse UK focuses on augmented and virtual reality, while VR Aid promotes accessibility and inclusion in those technologies. So she's not just embracing the future of tech, she's actively shaping it in a way that benefits everyone. Exactly. It's about making sure these advancements are inclusive and accessible, not just for the privileged few. I love that. She's using her expertise to make a positive impact. Which is what it's all about, right? Absolutely. Okay, so what else? She's also a member of the Royal Television Society and the British Computer Society. So deeply entrenched in both the media and tech sectors. It's like she's fluent in both languages, able to navigate and understand the nuances of each world. A true bridge builder. I like that. And then we have Cedia, which focuses on custom electronic design and installation. Oh, and don't forget her role as a juror for the Rain Dance Film Festival. Talk about a multifaceted individual. Seriously, it's clear she's passionate about innovation and excellence, and she's not just sitting on the sidelines. She's actively involved in shaping these industries. Whether it's through these organizations or mentoring others, she's clearly committed to making a difference. It's inspiring, isn't it, to see someone who's not only successful in their own right, but also dedicated to elevating the entire industry and supporting the next generation. It really speaks to her character and her vision for the future. Okay, so as we start wrapping up this deep dive into Maria Ingold's world, what are some of the key takeaways that stand out to you? Well, it's clear she's a force to be reckoned with in media, technology, and AI. That's for sure. Her combination of technical expertise, creative vision, and commitment to ethical considerations makes her a true trailblazer. She is a shining example of someone who is not only embracing technology, but also shaping its trajectory for the better. Right. 
Her journey is a testament to lifelong learning, continuous innovation, and the power of bridging seemingly disparate fields. Absolutely. But here's a final thought for our listeners. How do you think Maria's blend of technical and creative experience might influence her approach to the future of AI in media? Hmm, that's a great question. I think her diverse background and multifaceted expertise suggests she'll approach it with a balance of pragmatism and creativity, always keeping the human element in mind. It'll be interesting to see what she does next. We encourage everyone to check out Maria's LinkedIn profile and follow her work. Who knows what groundbreaking innovations she'll contribute to in the future. It's safe to say that Maria Ingold is one to watch in the world of AI and media technology. Couldn't agree more. You know, it's amazing that we got all that just from her LinkedIn profile. I know, right? It really shows you how much you can learn about someone these days just from their online presence. It really does. And it makes you think, doesn't it? About our own LinkedIn profiles. Are we showcasing the full breadth of our skills and experience? You know, are we presenting ourselves in the best possible light? Yeah, it's a good reminder to step back every now and then and make sure your online profile reflects who you are and what you bring to the table. Absolutely. So if Maria were to offer one piece of advice based on her incredible career, what do you think it would be? Hmm, that's a tough one. But based on everything we've learned about her, I think it would be to never stop learning. You know, to always be curious and to seek out new knowledge and skills. That's great advice. Especially in today's world, things are changing so fast. Technology is constantly evolving. Exactly. If you want to stay ahead of the curve, you have to be adaptable and willing to embrace new challenges. And I think Maria's story also highlights the importance of connecting different fields, just like she's done with technology and the arts. Right. That's where the real innovation happens when you break down those traditional silos and start seeing the connections between seemingly different areas. It's about thinking outside the box and not being afraid to explore uncharted territory. And who knows? You might just discover something truly amazing along the way. Well, on that note, I think we've reached the end of our deep dive into the fascinating world of Maria Ingold. It's been a real pleasure exploring her journey and uncovering all these hidden gems. I couldn't agree more. Hopefully, our listeners have found it just as insightful and inspiring as we have. I'm sure they have. And remember, the key takeaway here isn't just about Maria's impressive accomplishments. It's about the lessons we can all learn from her story. The power of continuous learning, the importance of bridging disciplines, and the courage to embrace the unknown. So go out there, explore new ideas, challenge your assumptions, and never stop learning. And maybe even update your LinkedIn profile. Who knows? You might just inspire the next deep dive. And on that note, we'll wrap up this episode of The Deep Dive. Until next time, keep diving deep.